Hi there, Marcus from 4Poz. We're setting up a 4Poz 80mm printer today uh, from scratch. Uh, we've checked in our devices and printers and currently there is no 80mm printer installed on this computer. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, we also made some notes for you, how to configure your printer. Get your tools together is always the most important part, is like any tools are important. Okay, so first of all we need the 80mm driver. So let's get that up and running first. Okay, so I've got a folder here that I put all my information in. And there's my 80mm driver. I'm simply going to click on it. Say I agree to the terms and conditions. Next, I'm going to make sure that it's set to 80mm printer. And no, I don't want it as the default. Um, because it might uh, confuse my 4 pass system to now print all my reports and day ends in 80 mol format. So then the, the printer driver uh, configuration screen comes up. It will ask me which ports I want. Okay, so at the moment it's set to network. So uh, I'll just leave it on LPT1 for now. But if I'm going to use it as a USB printer, it will automatically pop up the USB port on there. Okay, so let's go in and through the installation. Um, while this is running, you'll see in the background, it's popped up a little screen that we have to confirm that we want to install the driver. Just move it away so that you can click install. And within seconds, uh, the driver will be installed. Okay, so now let's go back to our control panel, devices and printers, and you'll see that my 80 mm printer is set there. Now, if I right click on that and I go to printer properties, and I look at ports, it's set to LPT1. That's all parallel ports. Okay, this is not what the printer is. If your USB cable is plugged in to a, a USB port uh, and the printer cable or the other part of the cable is plugged into the back of the printer and the printer is on and there's paper in, uh, it will show up a USB port on the screen which will allow you then to select that USB port and you will be able to start printing immediately. Okay, so that's my driver installed. So now our next step is to say, okay, fine. We would like to also use this as a network printer. And the reason we want to use it as a network printer is so that we can share this printer on the network between multiple computers. You might have one or two or five computers that you would all want them to print arguments like to a kitchen printer or a bar printer or a salad printer or a pizza printer for that matter. Uh, for us to be able to do that, we need to set it up as a network printer. Windows sharing will not allow us to share the printer with the same name on all the computers. Okay. So again, you're welcome to go and read up on why that is and so forth. But the detail and the facts of the matter is that we need to set it up as a network printer. Okay. Okay, so now we've done the, the 80 mm driver, we've got the 4 pass tool, we need a tool now to set up our printer to the correct uh, network. Now, if we go to the tool and we try, uh, well we not try, but we do run the tool. Uh, give it a couple of seconds to open up everything. Alright, so you'll see that all the printer setups are coming up here and we're specifically interested in the POS88 printer over there. And as soon as we set that up, uh, or select it then, you'll see that it comes up with a port and it asks you how is the printer connected at the moment. Now, the, currently the printer is connected through the network cable. In other words, I physically have a cable running from the PC, this specific PC, to that uh, printer. Okay, And if I now uh, try to get the parameters of that printer, uh, in other words, as you can see on the screen, the default is 192.168.114. Uh, that's just an IP address. Think of it as a street address or whatever the case may be. Um, we want to see if we can get the parameter of that printer. We will get an error. And the reason we're getting an error is because our network on this specific PC is not set to the same. Okay. So let me explain. So on our computer, on this computer, um, we have a what we call an IP address, a internet protocol address. That internet protocol address must be in the same range as my printer. Otherwise, I can't talk to it. So if I 
click on this uh, window start button if I right click on there and I say run and I then type in command CMD for for short and I press enter I can get into what we call a DOS prompt okay now in the DOS prompt the easiest way to see what is going on on your computer what your network and everything else is set up as is you run ipconfig now ipconfig will tell you everything about your your network configuration your internet protocol configuration in other words now there's lots of things here we'll see down here we see wireless LAN uh, adapters and so on and we're not interested in the wireless LAN now we are interested specifically in the network cable or the Ethernet connection this one over here okay and you'll see my current computer or this computer then is configured for an IP address of 169254 which is not anywhere near to what I want it to be okay I want that range 192.168.1. something okay um, that's what I'm looking for so I need to change my PC this specific PC just for now you're not going to change it forever you're going to change it back to what it was later on okay but for now we need to set it to that same range so that we can get into the configuration of this printer okay so now we're going to get into a little bit of technical stuff so take your time pause the video when you need to and slowly slowly play it through okay so I'm going to jump back into my control panel uh, all control panels easy as always is to say view by small icons uh, or large whatever you prefer I prefer the small because then I can see everything nice and tidy on my screen now I want to go to my network settings and this is all alphabetical so I go to network and sharing and in the network and sharing center um, I can go to adapter settings so in my network settings you'll see there again I've got Wi-Fi and Ethernet I want to change the Ethernet the cable option uh, in other words there the, the 80 mil obviously does not have Wi-Fi available so you'll run it with a physical cable so I'm not going to right click on there and say properties okay now again we spoke about uh, TCP IP4 so this one specifically if I click on the properties here you'll see that this computer has been set up to say obtain an IP address automatically which means that every time you restart the PC the PC will determine its own IP address and that's not what we want we want a specific one so we're going to tell it no use the following now we said we want to be in the same range so we want to put in there 192.168.1. and we saw earlier that the uh, PC was set to dot that IP address there dot 61 so let's make it the same um, in other words we'll make it 61 now again the question will come up but why don't I set it to the same IP address as the printer well as soon as you have the same address then it means that you've got two houses on the same property which it's not possible okay so you will set it up a, the same range in other words the first first three blocks here okay but you'll change the last two digits and in this case I'm just going to make it 61 the subnet mask uh, normally it fills it up automatically for you but just put it in like that you don't have to worry about the default gateways or the DNS servers or anything like that and then I click OK now as soon as I've done that my IP address is now changed so again here it was again let's just refresh our memories 169.254 if I run the same thing again, in other words, I do IP config. Now I'm sitting with the IP range there of 192.168.1.61 as we specify. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, so once we do that and we go back into our, our printer tool uh, and we now say go and get the parameters, um, suddenly it talks to that okay in other words yes it can communicate with that now because we're in the same range and it tells me again currently the printer is set for that those settings okay and now we want to change it we want to change it to something else maybe your range or IP range is um, 192.168.11 uh, or maybe you've even got something that says 10.10.10.10 or whatever the case would be okay alright so let's say that your range is 10.10.10 .10, then you leave the last section again as 114 whichever way you want to do it it doesn't matter as soon as we do that we can then say 
uh, set the parameter. In other words, we don't want to get it again. We want to now set it. Once we've set it, uh, and we then go and look at uh, our settings on the printer. Uh, when, in other words, we do a test print on the printer, it will then uh, print accordingly. Okay. For now, I don't need to do that. Um, I'm going to leave it the same as, as that printer. In other words, I'm happy with that in my network. My network, I would like it to be uh, on this range. All right, so I've set my, my network address now to what I want my network to be. In other words, 10.10.10.114. Okay. And the printer, if to, to test it, you'll do a test page on the printer, meaning that you'll switch it off, put your finger on the feed button, and switch on, and it will do a test page. And in that test section, it will then print for you uh, that the printer has now been set for that uh, uh, IP address. Okay. So now I want to change my network back again to what I want it to be. Uh, again, you'll see I'll, I'll leave them, leaving all the windows open. So it makes it a lot easier to try and then closing it and going back and trying to find where to, how did I get to that point in the first place. Okay, so now I'm going to change my network to that same range. Again, I'm going to go to properties. Uh, remember now that I've already set it to the IP range that the printer was on so that I can talk to it. So I talk to it, I set it, everything is fine. Now I want to change my network to be the same again. Okay, so now um, assuming that your network, my network, I want it on 10.10.10.61 uh, .10 is fine. All right, and I click OK. All right, so now let's go and double check again. So if I do my IP config uh, again, my network again, my Ethernet, again, don't get confused down here. With a Wi-Fi, you were looking at the Ethernet. My Ethernet is now sitting at that IP address. My printer is also sitting at that same range, and then 114. So to check it and test it here first, we can simply type in ping, uh, ping 10.10.10.114. Okay, and we'll get a reply back from that printer, meaning that this PC now can communicate to that printer. In other words, it's on the same network. It's all happy. Okay. All right. So we're 90% of the way there. We just need to go and change our printer now. So let's go back into control panel. I'm going to go back to all systems. I'm going to go back to my devices and printers. And I want to set up this printer with a network port of what I've just selected. Okay. So there's my 80 mil printer. I'm going to right click on that. Go to printer properties. Not the one at the bottom. This one. Okay. And in there, argument's sake, I'm going to call it KP or for kitchen printer or bar or pizza or whatever you want to call it. Important that it's uh, a short name, in other words, and also no spaces. Okay, uh, because 4PAS, if you are using 4PAS, 4PAS cannot handle uh, a printer name with spaces in it. It gets confused. Okay, so we're going to call it KP. And then I'm going to go to ports. We know that it's sitting on LPT1. I don't want it there. I want it to set it up as a network pr printer. And there's no network ports here yet because I haven't created it. So I'm going to click on add port. It's a standard TCP IP port. I click on new port. It says uh, welcome to this wizard. I say thank you very much. And now I'm going to type in my printer IP address 10.10.114. Okay. So the printer name or IP address is over there. I simply click next and it's going to try and find it. Once it's done its test, and that can sometimes take a minute or two, it doesn't matter, just leave it, let it do its thing. It says that it's not found on the network. No need to panic, just leave it like that. Okay. Um, and you'll see at the bottom it's asked you as a device type, it's a generic network card. Again, just leave it like it is and we click next. Okay. It will show us the port addresses and everything else, and I can say finish and close. Now, my printer has been set, as you can see here. Let's just open up that um, for that IP address, which I know is correct because I could ping it and so forth, and I can simply close. Okay, um, let's go back to that printer. I'm going to first open up maybe to uh, a little screen to see, see what's printing so we can see that the screen for that is blank right now uh, over there as you can see if I now right click on that and I go to printer properties and I say print test page 
typically appear in that list over there and then disappear because as soon as it's printed okay let's do it again you see there it's gone through and it disappears okay and that's how you typically would know even remotely like I am now in other words I'm not physically sitting at the computer I'm doing it over team viewer uh, that it's actually working and my printer will print and now my KP printer has been configured and tested and and everything is fine and now I can carry on doing exactly the same thing in other words installing the printer driver and setting the port on all the other computers and all the computers will then be able to print to that specific printer on the network and now again bear in mind that right now as we said in the beginning I have a cable physically connected between this PC and the printer okay now if you're going to share it between multiple computers obviously you'll need a little router a little box where all the cables will plug into and then you will just take your printer cable plug it into that box and this PC will go into that router box as well and then any and all printers or sorry any and all PCs will then be able to print to that printer and that's effectively the whole process obviously you can do exactly the same for multiple com printers and multiple computers um, and then um, you know you can share K KP printers we have customers that's got six or seven printers in the kitchen area one for chef one for waiter station one for uh, the controller the person controlling all the orders etc etc so the long and the short of it it's very simple to do uh, and just go through the steps Thank you. Hope you uh, find this interesting and helpful and you'll be able to set up your remote printers now much easier. Enjoy.